So the first question I sort of wanted to ask you yeah. was what made you consider having breast augmentation at this point in time? So um, I've obviously, I've had um, asymmetrical breasts all, all my life mm. um, and um, now I'm at the stage in my life where I could actually do something for myself. I've had, I, you know, I've got my children. Um, it was something that I've wanted to do since my early 20s. Um, but unfortunately, um, relationship-wise, you know, sort of in the wrong, you know, not with a supportive partner, etc. And um, time just, just went by. Um, and then um, I met my husband now. So I've had three children and it just kind of got to the stage where, right, okay, you know, he was re he's been so supportive. So now it's, um, you know, I can actually do this for me. So it's something that I've been wanting to do for, obviously, since my early 20s. So, That's really nice. Yeah. That's really nice. And how do you feel that your confidence has changed? Oh, since yeah, been? massively. I mean, obviously, I've not um, managed to um, sort of go on holiday or anything yet. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just nice to, to be able to wear. It's just the I mean, you know, it is more for me. Um, many people never realise mm. because I just sort of spent years of being able to hide it. Um, but for me now to just be able to wear a normal bra is like it's amazing. You know, yeah, it's just something. That, yeah. Well, um, and obviously, hopefully, you know, <clears throat> down the line, things that have got no backs to them, and you know, that will be, uh, you know, just a normal swimsuit or anything like yeah. that. You know, so um, yeah, confidence-wise, it's for it's more sort of for me myself because like saying everybody else they they were totally unaware until they actually saw pictures and they were like oh gosh right okay exactly so, yeah. yeah and i personally feel like there's a big stigma surrounding cosmetic surgery yes. and it's a misconception you know really yeah. that uh it's all about just sort of altering your appearance a little bit and if it's that it's superficial yes there's a lot more to it than there that. is i mean i found myself when um explaining to certain people um you know because I'm, I'm not ashamed i've never been ashamed um as in sort of my friends i've always been very openly and say oh yeah i've got you know one breast bigger than the other so when i was explaining to my my friends that oh i'm having this done i did find myself my friends that have known me many years they i didn't have to explain but sort of um you know sort of newer friends i did find myself sort of have to say you know it's not for vanity reasons and i was kind of felt like i needed to back mm -hmm. myself up as to why i was doing it you know, and they were very much, oh, no, no, you know, but I was like, I'm not doing it because, I, you know, I want bigger breasts, or I'm doing it because I just want to put them out there, it's nothing, you know, but I did mm. find myself questioning and, and feeling like I needed to reassure them, not that they were phased by it, but like you say, there is that stigma mm. of you doing it um, for other reasons, but than just for yourself. Exactly. People don't understand that deeper yes. meaning and, and the confidence difference and how that affects your, your day to day right. life yes. as well. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, that's why we want to share more stories like this really yeah. so to people in your position can uh, hear your story and sort of see yeah. how maybe it, well, breast that, augmentation can help them. That's it. I mean, I think well. some people sort of think, oh, you know, you're getting older now, does it really matter? Mm. You know, things like that. But it, like I say, it's not about. Um, what you can put on show and what is on show it's about what you see in yourself and how you feel and how you feel mm. you know um, when you look in the mirror every morning I know you're going to cover yourself up but it's mm. still it's just you're so limited I know it sounds silly but on what clothes you can wear yeah, it's such true. a big limitation mm. so um, you know it does make a huge difference mm. and what what advice could you give to somebody mm. who's maybe in your position um, just you know, if you feel if you are in the situation where you've got the support to to do it, then a hundred percent, um, you know, go for it. Um, I was I was nervous as anything. You know, it's something that well, you've wanted for so long. Um, and it's yeah, and you think, oh my gosh, the recovery and things like that. Mm -hmm. But looking back seven weeks later, you're putting your trust in someone else. That's it. Yeah, and it, it's yeah. the unknown. It is yeah. the unknown. You don't know. There's a part of you that thinks, oh gosh, would I've been better just staying as I am? And you doubt. You're doubting it all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but no, I'd hundred percent. I would just say, if you if you can, then then do it and go for it. Mm -hmm. And you know, the outcome certainly outweighs you know all the negative thoughts that you have prior to having it done. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And uh, what made you choose Zenith to have your Well, research? I did do sort of research and I um, I looked at um, a private hospital as such. Um, their suggestions um, wasn't the same um, as Dr. Javed. Um, and I just kind of uh, looked into him and came to see him. And straight away, his the way that he, um, he, he ruled out implants straight away. And that wasn't something I never thought, I thought, 
in my head it would have to get I'd have to go down the implant route. Oh, okay. I never even knew um that what I had done wasn't even an option. So um when we came um you know and he he didn't even ex he didn't even go down the he he looked at me and he knew that implants weren't gonna be the option mm -hmm. and he he came up with this solution. Um and it was just the fact of uh you know he sort of said to me I won't do anything to you that I wouldn't do to my my sister or my daughter That's or you know so mm. you kind of get that trust you sort of you felt reassured yeah I mean he, he you know he sort of said you know it's it's a challenge but it was a chat for him to take on that challenge to me it's kind of showed that he'd got confidence in himself um because obviously it's it's his reputation on the line exactly. you know so I knew I think that was it I knew it wasn't kind of like a straightforward um procedure um but um, that cat, you know, he, how he was, comf I thought he's taking this on, you know, proved to me more so that, you know, he was confident in, in what mm -hmm. he was going to do. And that's, um, you know, and then I came back and I just, you know, I just sort of drew to him and how he, because my only other options were to have a reduction and then another surgery, you know, months down the line mm -hmm. where this was all in one. So, um, yeah. And did you, you must have felt nervous coming in for the procedure. Oh know? yeah, petrified. And I think the worst thing was obviously, um, I'd had to, I was originally due in January um, and I had to put it back to February. And then I caught, I was due to come in on the Monday, I caught COVID on the Saturday. <laughs> so it was put back another sort of seven. So it was kind of every time I was getting there and then it was getting pushed back and I was. So it's anticipation. Then, yeah, it? so yeah. it was like more the nerves and it gives you longer to kind of question yourself. So yeah, so I was, um, but yeah, so so you know, no regrets at all. Mm. Yeah, no regrets at all. And results wise, you're really happy with yeah, that. Yeah, really thing. happy. Yeah, again, um, it was kind of the nervousness because obviously I've had the fat transfer into the left breast. Um, there was always that chance that the fat wouldn't take. Mm, yeah. So it was kind of like, uh, you know, like Dr. J Dr. Javed said, it's sort of like putting grass seeds down and hoping they grow, and that's how it, it was. So it was kind of you know, it is the anticipation of will will it or won't it, obviously with implants they're there and you know they're there and that's it but um, you know but over this last seven weeks everything I had a sort of slight setback with the haematoma but that was you know that was all sorted and now it's they're fully healed um, yeah and really happy with the results. Well, yeah. We're really happy to hear that yeah. and um, in terms of the Zenith team mm. have you found yeah. everyone to Oh be? yeah lovely yeah absolutely they're all really welcoming um, you know, on the day of my procedure, the guys were lovely. Um, every time I've come here, all the girls on reception. Um, yeah, so it helps you feel a bit more relaxed. It does, yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. So I think it was it was a little bit um, nerve wracking coming to somewhere like this for what I thought was quite a big operation because you expect that you need to go to a hospital yeah. for an opera. You know, yeah. that's kind of so it was lovely that um, you know it was sort of more of a comforting kind yeah. of surroundings but you can still get um you know an, a, mm. a large procedure done so yeah so it was it was uh, yeah no regrets like i say great thank you so much for speaking with me today You're